Okay, so um, the other day I posted a video on taking your birds outside and what you should watch for, what you should do, what you should do, etc., etc. Um, so I realized that um, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of other things that I kind of missed and skipped out on. And one of the biggest things that I would like to go over is um, carriers for your birds. Um, specifically, there's one, it's called pack a bird or pack a bird or whatever. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this thing and then I'm going to tell you how you can make one because, or make shift one, I should say. Because if you're like me, you're not, you know, the richest person on the block and why should your birds have to suffer? Foggy's going to go pick up my computer. Why should your birds have to suffer because you don't know that there's an alternative? Um, that you can do that's just as good, just as safe, just as convenient, and might cost you, you know, if you're lucky like I was, a big fat zero dollars. Um, so, the Paco Bird is essentially a soft-sided kennel designed for birds that you can mount onto a foldable umbrella-style stroller. Nothing high-tech, really. Um, the carrier itself uh, is designed to have adjustable perches. You can buy them with a wire fine mesh so that your birds can't pick through them because if they're anything like my birds, they'll pick through them because Goonie loves to do that. He thinks it's fun. Um, they also come with, um, you can get attachable water dishes. Um, you can also get um, backpack straps for them. And along with this carrier with the cool pull down flaps so that you can cover your bird and blah 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 you can buy the stroller so all you do is you take the soft sided kennel you place it on top of the stroller and you can push it instead of carrying it now I had actually considered getting one of these for um, Goonie, my umbrella cockatoo um, because he lived with a little woman for probably about six yeah just about six years and Goonie I'm right here buddy you can see me if I sit really close. Hi. Don't bark. That's not nice. Um, so, he lived with this lady. I think he knows I'm talking better, too, looking at me. Um, for many years, and she was not a well. She was not very well. And I don't know if maybe one day she tripped and fell while holding him, or he just didn't have the socialization that he needed to remain, um, um, I don't even know how to describe it. How, how to be polite when being carried, I guess would be the best way to say it. I guess I'll be on your own here. Um, this is what she does when I make videos. She's there, like, Mom, pet me. Um, so anyway, um, I wanted to get him one of these, but they were so bloody expensive. Just the carrier itself is a good $250, plus shipping, plus taxes. And when you live in the middle of northern bumfuck nowhere, shipping is disgustingly expensive. Even things from two and three hours south can cost up to $100 just to get here. So it really wasn't within my budget to get one. So I kind of went without and just kind of dealt with it, really. Um, Goonie has a small soft-sided kennel designed for dogs. It's actually airline approved. Not that I would ever leave him in one of those in an airline. But if, if he was ever a carry-on, I guess. Um, I'm sure the flight attendants would hate me if I did that. But, um, so he has got one of those, which he likes better than the, the hard shell carrier. Um, so anyway, yesterday, or not yesterday, a couple days ago now, um, I was taking trash out to the bin outside my apartment building. And I noticed um, there was a stroller beside the dumpster. Now, there's two or three families that live in the same apartment building as me. There's only about 12 of us that live here. Um, well, there's 12 apartments. Um, and a few of them have babies. So I went over to Snoop, and I thought there was a, a, a baby gate beside it, and I've been looking for a new one. And it turned out to be an old crib, and there was uh, a stroller sitting beside it. So I snooped, and it's one of those ones that... Um, fold down and I couldn't quite get it to fold. It took me about 10 minutes to get it to work. Like it had to really work at it to get it to fold down. Um, it reeked. It was absolutely disgusting. Um, but otherwise it worked fine. The brakes were fine. All the parts were there. 
So I brought it over to my apartment, and I'm fortunate enough to own well, rent, the only apartment in the building with a private entrance. So I put it beside my deck and um, took all the pieces off, threw them in the washing machine, scrubbed them again, threw them through the washing ma machine again. Um, I took a bucket of water with some soap, scrubbed the whole thing down, whatever I could throw in the, in the washing machine. And awesome, it was awesome that, I, that it had this, but on the side there were two eyelets, and they're fairly large eyelets, um, that are braced with a, I'm assuming a stainless steel ring, um, which was perfect because all I did was I just cut a piece of wood, or a piece of uh, per perches that I make. Um, if you want to see how I do that, there's another video specifically on how to make bird perches. So I just measured it and bolted it on there, and it is perfect, and I paid nothing for it. Um, the only quirks that we're still working out is I need to find a way to attach Goonie's harness and leash to the perch until he learns that he can't jump off the perch or climb up onto the handlebars because he gets very stressed out he wants to be with me. And he needs to learn that it's okay that we're moving. He can, he, it's not going to fall, it's not going to move, it's just a little shaky. Um, we went around the block yesterday, it took us about half an hour to get all the way around the block, which is quite slow. But considering he's a 15-year-old bird who has probably never in his life been in a stroller, he did absolutely amazing. Um, so if you know of people who have kids, or if you know there's a, a yard sale going on close by, go and take a look and see if you can if you can find a stroller. Um, now, if you find one like I did with the base and with the um, the attachment piece, a lot of people aren't going to sell just the stroller, you might have to buy the whole thing, but you could also tell, like if you know somebody who has a baby who has an extra car, what you can do is you can offer them the base and the, um, the carrier, because there's a lot of parents nowadays that have two vehicles, and it's a pain to have to take the base out of one car and put it into the other car and bolt it down and this, that, the other, so just an idea in case you have to buy the whole thing. Um, the one that I have, the tray that you use for you know, baby bottles and snacks and stuff, it comes off. Um, so I wash that in, in the sink with my dishes and uh, currently it's not on just because I want Uni to get used to sitting on the perch, but it's a perfect place to bolt, uh, go to the dollar store and nail, nail a hole into the bottom of a cup, take a bolt with a big washer and bolt it down and then just put another cup inside it. You can put water, you can put some snacks in there for them, grab a couple foot toys. Uh, mine has a visor on it, one of the ones that fold down. Uh, it's also there's like a little screen too so he can see me so he doesn't feel like I've abandoned him. He has a really big issue with object permanence. He doesn't understand that just because he can't see me, I'm not there. Um, so uh, what I might do is just hook some toys to the end of it. Just cut a little hole, loop it around the end and Bolt it down and he's got something to play with. The only thing you're going to want to watch with that is that you don't smash your bird in the face. Because <laughs> uh, they're not going to like that if you're going out for a walk and you hit a bump and they get smashed in the face by a toy. Um, as far as the stroller being so open, um, there's a couple things you can do. You can put a net. You can go to the store and buy one of those um, fly nets to put over top of it. It's an easy way to keep people from sticking their, their fingers inside the stroller. Um, which is probably going to be your biggest concern at first until people know your bird and you don't want to hurt who you're sticking a finger in. Um, but I will try to take a video of it tomorrow or later today because it's beautiful outside. Um, just so that everyone can see exactly what we're dealing with. Um, so if you have any questions about um, what I used, how I did it, etc., etc., send me an email. I'd be happy to help you. Um, I'm all for, you know, free information and people helping people. Um, so, like I said, get a question, send me an email, I'll be around probably all day. <laughs> um, so, thanks for watching, and uh, take your words outside, it's good for me.